नमस्कार मैं हूं हर्ष एंड वेलकम अगेन टू आवर अनदर सेशन ऑफ स्टडी इन कोरिया सीरीज एंड आज हमारे साथ हैं स्वप्निल हु विल टेल अस अबाउट छोसोन यूनिवर्सिटी छोसोन यूनिवर्सिटी इज लोकेटेड इन ग्वांगजू इट्स इन द साउथ पार्ट ऑफ साउथ कोरिया एंड बिना कुछ कहे लेट्स स्टार्ट विद स्वप्निल हेलो स्वप्निल हाय हर्ष अन्यंग से हो <laughs> so before uh, we go to more details uh, kis part se which yeah. part do you come, come from in, in india uh, i am from uh, the indian state of maharashtra and i am from mumbai oh okay mumbai kar yeah, <laughs> yeah <I see. laughs> when did you uh, come to korea exactly uh, i came to korea in august uh, 2016 oh it's been 4 years then so yeah yeah is yes <laughs> what like what was the reason like what inspired you to come to korea what was the thing uh, actually when i was doing my masters in india uh, so like i met like uh, my classmates from all over the india because i was working i was studying in central university and then also my and then it, it, it was my dream to go abroad and study and also my professor uh, my professor suggested me to apply to korea because they told me about the opportunities here and also they told me about some scholarships so then i decided to come to korea so uh, you you already like you said before that you already graduated chosun university right when did you graduate uh, yeah uh, uh, just before 2 months i have graduated with phd from chosun university oh so now you are doc- dr swapnil <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs> so tell us about your university how do you like it because you you can give the exact review you did the whole graduation from there so uh yes yes uh like uh talking about my university i think like there are so many things to tell because uh, it is also considered and like it is like well known that uh, my university is one of the beautiful universities in korea we like uh, uh, among among private universities uh, and uh, uh, like it is surrounded by the mountains so it it is very good place to hang out like during your holidays or like when you are you are stressed or something like this but uh, talking about academics like uh, uh, my university uh, i can tell i can say that uh, about biology or it or engineering um, like most of the departments in these fields are like very good and uh, most of the professors they speak english because language is the uh, language barrier is there in korea yeah. uh, but but considering these departments like they they have like very good labs and they also have very good facilities uh, for it or like uh, for for it people or like for computational people they have like big big servers and then also for biology people like uh, the labs are well equipped so i can say that uh, it is like uh, yeah like well arranged and everything is there mm-hmm. so and also also my university also uh, arranges the uh, field trips which is called as like uh, how can i say uh, um, uh, they will take in yeah the they will take interest of students like Yes, yes, yes. They will take international students uh, out of the city to some other uh, place, like this is like maybe cultural village or like something like that, so that we can have some uh, talk to Korean people and then uh, exchange like culture and get to know the Korean culture, something like this. Yeah. Okay, that's that's nice. So uh, we didn't exactly get your course. What course you were doing? What was the your major in PhD? Exactly. Oh uh, yes, uh, uh, I have done my PhD in bioinformatics. uh and uh, i was working on uh, cancer drug designing oh oh wow. that yes. sounds fascinating uh, but, yeah yeah but since i am a bioinformatician like uh, my whole work was uh, computational okay okay yeah there are two yeah. sides one is experimental one computational. yes 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 okay that's good to hear so uh, i want to ask like you already mentioned which was my next question that how is the facility in chosun university uh, how how is like apart from the lab and everything how is the normal day to day life facility is there for international ah, yeah 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 because yeah if if i want to talk about the other facilities like uh, they have like dormitories for international students uh, the dormitories are also like uh, well maintained and clean uh, and uh, it's like uh there are like many international students will live together but they they have like a well understanding and also proper guidelines to how to uh, maintain or how to live in dormitories and also since the bank uh, since the campus is very big uh, if you want to go to one part of the campus to another part or like another department so there are like university buses so you can catch one bus and then uh, like maybe i think 15 or 20 minutes interval you can get the bus 
uh, and then so it's not uh, so then then it's easy for you to travel inside the campus because uh, since it is situated near the mountain the uh, like like some 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 places are like elevated yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, easier yeah. to walk, walk to yeah, yeah. And, yes yes and also like uh, they have a very big library uh, which and they have books for like i mean i mean for all subjects maybe i guess yeah and uh, they also have computer facility inside the library so students can go and access the internet or they can study online uh, also i i want to mention that in korea like if you want to get any certificate or uh, for example like your uh, uh, enrollment certificate so you don't have to go to graduate office or you don't have to apply for anything so right. uh, they have kept uh, a machine which is like i can say that in colloquial words like vending machine so <laughs> you just go there and then like it is like computerized so you put your student id and then uh, you can print out uh, whichever the certificate you need so that is like very uh, quick process to get your certificates and documents like which you need yeah it's not difficult like india that it takes months to get the certificate <laughs> yes 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 like if you if you want to get a transcript or something you have to first uh, apply for it you have to pay and then you have to wait for 2 3 weeks Right, so, right, right, right. Yes, yes. How is the how was the lifestyle back in Chosun? Like, were there many Indians? How is the social life there? Ah, uh, lifestyle, yeah. Uh, uh, in Chosun University, uh, like there were so many Indian people. Like, uh, uh, there, like most of the students are studying in uh, biology departments, uh, IT and engineering. Uh, so, um, uh, like during during my weekends. Uh, actually my my lab schedule was very busy during my phd <laughs> yeah. i used to work from monday to saturday and only sunday was holiday for me so usually i i i chose to sleep or like take rest on sundays but like if i want to go out like um, first two or first two years of my phd i spent most of my time with uh, indian students my, my seniors and like my friends in campus indian friends uh, but uh, when uh, i was about to finish my phd uh i got opportunity and i got some free time to go out uh, and to meet some foreigners so i also had like uh, filipino chinese korean friends and then like uh, also from usa uh, canada so uh, like i got opportunity to meet like so many people so and the social life uh, i i can say that like if you are comfortable with uh, korean food uh, or like uh, their culture so it is easy to make uh, uh, korean friends and also for, foreigner friends yeah so you like korean food yeah yeah i like oh that, that <laughs> that's that's the best point yeah in the survival yes, actually yes. so is yeah. there like was there any difficulty when you came to korea like you in settling down was there any difficulty you faced uh actually uh the only thing i i faced is like a language problem because when i tried to ask ask for some address or something then they will not understand what i'm trying to ask so then i came to know that okay we can communicate with them using translator uh, and so initially i used translator now i know like little bit uh, basic basic phrases in mm-hmm. korean language so i can manage but uh, when i first came here my seniors were there so they helped me from how to come to gongju from incheon airport so uh, like for me it was not too much difficult to like settle here Yeah, that's that. That's nice to hear. So, what do yeah. you like the most about South Korea? What is the thing that you are very fascinated about here? I am fascinated about discipline that they follow in Korea. The <laughs> because I want to mention like in each and everything. Like since we are students, I can we can say we can talk a lot about universities and like how their uh, uh, offices works, like graduate office, international office, everything. So the thing is that and and they they follow time and discipline. Uh, so if you go late like uh, if you if if you are late by one minute also then in korea it is like you are late by one hour so uh, so you, you have to follow the time and discipline everywhere you go if you see about traffic rules or if you apply for driving license or if you go to police station also uh, like the like all all the process and all the works that it is it is very fast so th- this is the thing that i like the most So did you when you were coming to Korea did you know about it and like what was the impression before coming to Korea and how it has changed or has it like Oh uh, yeah that's interesting question actually <laughs> because because when I was back there in India like so many people uh, they were afraid that I'm going to Korea and I was also afraid because of the so many like things that they used to tell me that it is near south korea north korea so it is dangerous to live in <laughs> south korea like that blah 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 so uh like we indians know like how 
how how we like talk about things so <laughs> they, they they made me scared of this thing that but but I, when actually i came here and then i stayed here for more than one year then i realized that this place is the one of the safest place like uh, <laughs> as compared to usa or like mexico or canada so uh, so i want to say that like it is not like that what we used to think when i was back in india but but when i came here like i can say that and even for girls and like for anything this is one of the safest country in the world i can say that yeah that's that's nice to hear so yeah. like what do you think is the most important thing to survive in korea for survival for indian students specifically oh yeah for indian students uh, like as, as i mentioned earlier i need to like tell that if you want to survive in korea then you should know their culture and their food uh, you need to know before coming to korea you should know that you will not get like vegetable dishes if you are pure vegetarian because <laughs> it's very difficult is very difficult to find pure vegetarian dishes because even though you order like uh, vegetable noodles they will add egg or like they will add ham in the noodles so so it is it's very difficult so uh, i think this is th- these are the two things like i can say the culture food and language maybe but language is, uh, is language is the thing that you, you can learn you can but manage, like some yeah. people yeah we can manage but some people who really cannot eat like non veg or like uh, something like this so it is difficult for them okay so would you recommend your university to indian students do, do do you want them to come to your university like your previous university and apply there uh yeah mm-hmm. i i can recommend my uh, indian friends to, to go to my university because uh, i heard from my friends from it department and engineering that uh professors there are good and the research going on is also good and uh, come coming to my biology department like uh one of the lab which is dealing with the alzheimer disease and also the parkinson parkinson's disease so it is like a neurobiology lab so the people who are interested in that field i will i will definitely uh, uh recommend them to go to that lab because that is the one of the uh, best lab in korea i can say that right that's nice to hear so uh, like yeah. do they have some like university scholarship which students can get uh, like it's like funding uh, yes 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 I, i was also uh, doing my phd based on university scholarship and uh, based on my previous uh, academic scores uh, so uh, it's like if you want to get university scholarship so you need to also have tofel or ielts score which is like more than 6 or 6.5 at least so if you have like um, uh, more than 6.5 score in ielts or tofel so uh, you can get the scholarship based on your english score and based on your academic score so in that case uh, uh, it is also depending on your uh, uh, phd pi uh, like uh, he, he uh, like because he can also decide and then uh, i got uh, actually i got uh, full scholarship so i didn't pay my tuition fees so mm-hmm. if your academic score is good and if you are able to do good score in uh, english pro psc in shit test uh, then uh, you uh, matlab like, then like like students who are going to apply they also have chance to get full scholarship Uh, so you can directly uh, apply to the university and contact the professor to get the scholarship or like is there different process for that uh the the like in, i think i think uh, it throughout the korea uh, first you need to contact the professor and then the uh, professor uh, uh, has to accept your uh, application and then when he accepts the application then then you need to contact the international office or graduate office uh, to do further procedures okay so yeah we are done with all the basic question but uh, people you know our viewers would want like we will be curious that you graduated so what you are doing now what are uh, exactly <laughs> uh, actually uh, like before graduation only i was trying to find some job uh, i brought actually because i stayed in korea for 4 years and then i thought that going to usa or like canada like uh, english speaking countries will be better for me uh, mm-hmm. but as we all know that because of the coronavirus pandemic uh, yeah. i chose to be in korea because it's not safe to travel also and then most of the labs in usa and canada are shut down uh, yeah, yeah. because of the coronavirus and in uh, as as we can see that in korea there is no lo- lockdown so we can still communicate to professors and universities and then i started applying in korea and uh, this is like i can say that i applied for my first job and i got my first job <laughs> like uh, as a as a post doctoral researcher so okay, okay. right now right now i'm your yeah right now i'm work- yes 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 thank you uh, right now i'm working in chemistry department uh, here also like i'm working on molecular dynamic simulation of some uh, 
uh, yeah electrolytes that's that's nice to hear thank you so much yeah. for giving your precious time dr swapnil and hope yeah, it yeah, helps no our viewers and people who want to come to uh, korea to study or specifically chosun university yes, thank yes. you so much good day yeah yeah yeah